Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'm Nye. I'm Mako, and we're starting from the very beginning. I've been waiting a really long time for this. Right. Um, yes, thank you. Yes, just setting my... Uh, we're yeah. starting on we're um, starting on Final Mix Proud, which because I refuse to play anything else. Yes, regrettably, Nai has decided to punish themselves. Mako, I've beaten on Proud mode many times, and my last playthrough, which was effectively one hundred percent, I beat it on Proud mode. At least you're not trying to do it on Critical. Can't even remember if Critical's a thing in in uh, one point five. Might not be. So I said I've been waiting for this a long time, and by that I mean that Kingdom Hearts 1.5 got announced like one and a half years ago. It even was more than that. Kingdom Hearts 1... So I did... Right now it is January of 2015. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has been out Kingdom for... Kingdom Hearts 2.5 has been out for a couple months. A couple weeks. Not months, I don't think. A couple weeks. Months? It's been about a month. Mm. Um, Kingdom Hearts 1. So I. So that's just 2015. I finished beating Kingdom Hearts 2 for the channel around June of 2013. Ish. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 was announced, if I remember correctly, around April of 2013. So what I told myself is that. I was going to Let's Play 1.5, because I've always wanted to know what's in Final Mix. But I also told myself that I was going to do it when 2.5 was out. So I have been waiting for an absurdly long time to be able to do this. <laughs> and now I can. 1.5, well, Final Mix... 1.5 is a step up over Final Mix. It's like the Final Mix of Final Mix. Really, they added stuff past uh, I, basic items. I'm games? pretty sure they added some extra, a, a little. A, a I mean, light. the big things I remember being excited about hearing. The major thing was one: it was the graphical smoothing, right? Which um, I can actually see. Uh, for people who are curious, um, you know, I haven't touched Kingdom Hearts in any meaningful way since Kingdom Hearts Two got done. I did that again about a year and a half ago. I can actually see the difference between this and the original. It's not incredible, but it's a lot of graphical smoothing, less pixelation, less jagged edges. It, it's it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So that that was one thing I was hoping for. Um, and then of course you know the extra boss fight against the uh, well we'll leave that. But um, some there's extra content in the game that I'm looking forward to. I hear there's an extra keyblade or two. And um, the one I'm really uh, looking forward to, to be honest with you, is actually being able to map the freaking camera control to the right control stick. <laughs> and not yeah. have it on L2 and R2 anymore. Also, uh, they, uh, um, they also remastered uh, some of the music like they did with a lot of the other HD stuff they did. Sounds about right. Uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. I'm just hoping uh, that I don't get in trouble for the music again. I actually ended up getting a content ID match for Kingdom Hearts 1, specifically for the simple and clean ending, and had to have it excised from my video, Jeez. which caused problems. So, hopefully that's not going to happen again. Needless to say, I'll be keeping the raws of this one, just in case. <laughs> and now we're down to now we're uh, down the into terminal. The station. Yeah, the terminal. I've heard it referred to as the terminal and the station. I can't remember the exact name. And, and I'm not the, looking at a uh, FAC or anything right now, so... The later, um, having just been playing 2.5 myself, the later ones tend to refer to these as stations. Well, I, if I remember correctly, and I might not, the actual uh, platform that I am standing on is a station. I recall that this zone is the terminal to darkness, terminal to the heart, something like that. Dive to the heart. Yeah, something to that effect. So we get right right off the bat, we get our very first, most imp possibly one of our most important sele selections in the game. So before we talk about that, real quick, I did want to go over what we will and will not be doing. Damn, I can't fix camera controls yet. What we will and will not be doing in this let's play. What we will be doing is checking out all the content I can, uh, effectively 100% the game, which means that I'm going for the. Um, 
secret ending. I don't know. Is the secret ending still in this? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So I'll be going for the secret ending, which means 100%ing all worlds, uh, not all worlds, but uh, beating all worlds and all storylines, uh, beating all optional bosses, finding all 101 Dalmatians. Filling uh, out Jiminy's journal. Filling out Jiminy's journal. And that's about it. It's all it requires. I'll also be going after all of the trinities that actually matter, which is not a lot of them. If you're going um, after, I was gonna say, if you're going after filling out Jiminy's journal, you have to get all the trin trinities. Oh, you have to get all the trinities now. Yeah, they're they're part. Well, they always were part of the journal. Yeah, but you didn't have to fill out the journal to get the secret ending before. Depends on the that difficulty. Wasn't a requirement. Uh, on doesn't matter the difficulty. On okay. previous difficulty, all you had to do was beat all worlds, get all 101 Dalmatians. Uh, beat all optional bosses, and um, I may be conflating no, it with later with later requirements. I think you're I think you're, uh, I think you're uh, conflating with two. Right. Two requires Jimmy Journal completion. I might be wrong though. Uh, we if I, I might go after the Trinities, but the problem is some of the Trinities are just so useless. What I will not be doing is 100% completing the PS3 trophies because that requires over three playthroughs and a lot of competing trophies, which are an absolute pain in the ass. For those who don't know, there is a trophy for beating the game on each difficulty, and they do not stack. Right. So, I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to be playing it on proud mode, and we're going to enjoy it. And then in my own spare time, when I have time, I may go back and repeat it a couple times. So, the first choice. So this choice decides a number of things. Sword, rod, or shield. Effectively, what the game's saying is, do you want to be a defensive player, or an offensive player, or a magic player? Um, but what it also chooses, among other things, is in what order you get uh, your skills, uh, your stat boosts, in some cases, uh, as well as deciding... Um, you can get all skills no matter what, but it just decides the order. It also has a very minor decision on your stats late game. Uh, it'll boost one and subtract from another. We haven't got to the subtract bit yet. Uh, it also decides how many item slots you have at the end of the game. What we're going to do... So we're going to go with shield. The power of the guardian. Kindness to aid friends and a shield to repel all. Given that we're playing on the hardest difficulty, it will let us. A little extra defense is important, not to mention the first, some of the, one of the most important skills we're going to need comes the earliest with this particular skill choice. Right. And we'll talk about that later when we actually get to it. That's not going to be for about yeah. a lot of <laughs> episodes. So then the next question is which power I don't want. Now, this power, this decides a little bit less. So what this choice says is one of two stats I will have exactly one less of, or two less of, at level 100. That's about it. That's all it decides. Uh, I said, I said staff, right? You said, well, you, you could have gone either way. Which one, which, which were you more, which stat were you more worried about again? I, I think I want attack to be higher at level 100, so I want, so I'm getting You wanted staff. to give up the staff. Okay. Because the strength, strength is a point higher. The catch is that, yeah, either way, you're only, you're not going to have as much MP. Yeah. So my choice of choosing shield was in order to get certain skills earlier. Um, it's a very important skills I need. Uh, anybody who's familiar with the game will probably know which ones I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, well, we're going to get there. Um, that locks me into having 8 MP as opposed to 10. That's the major difference. Uh, so I would have had 10 if I went with Staff. I have 8 because I went with uh, um, Shield. Uh, but going Shield gives me 8 item slots as opposed to 6. Uh, if I went with Staff or sh um, uh, Sword, I would have had 6 and... Uh, it's either 6 and 6 or 6 and 4, respectively. So we're going to give up the Staff because I don't need 2 extra magic power, but I would like an extra actual physical power. That being said... At the uh, at the end of the game, I can always craft stat boat stat boost items. Right, and the, 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 there is one thing that that with this particular selection of abilities makes you lacking in, but that's easily ma easily altered with these stat boosts. Yeah. So I'm not terribly worried about it. We're choosing basically for late game, uh, and right. that's going to be a theme that you're going to see in uh, the selections I'm going to make in this game. Is we're 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 aiming for late game. Early game Kingdom Hearts is not amazingly difficult. There are one or two ringer fights, but... Yep. So, for example, I don't believe I'm going to be successfully beating the first optional optional boss in the game. Not for a while. <laughs> no, no, no. The, no, no, no. This is... Well, I say optional boss. This is boss you must fight, but do not have to beat. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will not be beating him. I forgot that they actually give you your tool for this. Yep. 
This is the one time they do this. Okay. HP gauge, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. If you guys don't know how to read an HP layout, you've never played a video game before. There will be times you have to fight. Oh boy. Uh, I may have to go in and... There's a... For some reason, there's a... Um, it starts with with your with your motion there we inverted. Go. Okay. Uh, not that. Uh, there are some. There, there's a. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's a setting at the very big game that decides what the edges of your screen is, and apparently I've actually screwed it up a little bit. Huh. Uh, I've made the I, th I made it too wide, so I might have to fix that because some of the text earlier was being cut off on the top of the screen. So okay. we'll uh, we'll fix those later. For the second episode, surely. But you guys shouldn't be missing much. It was a very small amount of... Oh no, we take damage! R1 to lock on. I've already done that. Uh, I'm going to be skipping most of the tutorials, guys. Because uh, most of them uh, specifically refer to either very simple game mechanics, such as enemies drop things. Or, um, hey, press this button to use this skill. Uh, feel free to pause the video if you want to actually see those. It's it's making sure that you know all the basics of gameplay because yep. it, 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 this is a game series that does like to hold your hand. Yep. That being said, guys, I'm gonna do my best to not skip anything that's actually important. Oh look, we're drowning in shadow. Okie dokie. Nobody's attacking you, Sora. You can wake up now. I forgot the goofy freaking expressions he has sometimes. <laughs> I also did forget how long this takes. Yeah, the, the initial tutorial areas are always forever and ever. This is a field icon. Press triangle to do things. This is something that they adopted. Oh, no, I think that this is one of the things they backported from 2 when they did Final Mix. Uh, triangle interactions? Yeah. I think you're right. If I remember correctly, I think it was all X in the beginning. That's how it, well, yeah, that's how it was, and that's how it is in Birth by Sleep, which is a pain if you play if you play one and switch to the other. <laughs> well, that'll be the last thing I play. By the way, you can walk over items to pick them up. Hmm. Items, as I said, you can use items with the item command. Um, the way the game works in this case is you have a fixed number of slots to equip items, like e you might equip a sword or shield, and you, ha you have to have them equipped before you can use them, in most cases. Yep. There are, like, a handful of special exceptions, but those are ones that you aren't going to be using in a fight anyway. <laughs> yeah. Those are specifically non-fight oriented things. And th into the light. Where we find? Yeah, we're not quite done yet. So uh, now we have our second set of important questions. Pre oh, right, first person view. We, I can see things. <laughs> Hello, Waka. Hello, Titus. I can't remember her name. Selfie. Selfie? Okay. No, not like the thing you do with the phone. The talk command is available. Uh, okay, do you do you have the list available? I have the list open. Okay. So, what are you... What is the first what's question? Most what's most important to you? Okay, and now, the, these questions, for people who don't know, uh, they're used to determine the quote-unquote time you set out, which is actually sort of whether you want to level quickly at first, slowly at first, or sort of just regular. Basically, now, it's it's how you want to play the game. So you can set out at dawn, and what dawn says is that from levels 1 to 49, you will level up faster than, faster than the average. As soon as you hit level 50, you start leveling up slower than the average. If you set out midday, it's average no matter what. If you set out at dusk, your first levels will take more XP than they typically would. But as soon as you hit level 49, they speed up. Right. And I can't remember whether the pace... So we want the slow pace, I presume. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for what's most important to you, um, you want to answer being number one or friendship. Actually, you can answer any of these three, but you want to be careful about what you answer for the rest of them. Is friendship such a big deal? I love that they always question what you <laughs> have to say. 
Right. Waka's so you there. answered friendship. Waka what do you is want quite, out of life? What do you want out of life? You answered friendship, correct? Mm-hmm. So what you want out of life is to see rare sights. Okay. To see rare sights, huh? Thank you, Waka. I appreciate it. Titus, what are you afraid of? Getting old. Is that really so scary? So now the game starts to recap what we said, and what it doesn't tell you is exactly why this is important. Now, if I remember correctly, I might be wrong, but if I remember correctly, there's a second reason that we want to go Dusk. Mako, do you know what that all-important reason is? Uh, no, I don't, actually. I only remember the uh, leveling curve. Your adventure begins at dawn. Wait, what? Yeah, that was dawn. On second thought, that's not right. Uh, we answered... See, that's the thing, like, it says, the, with the list I've got here, pace is slow. So, hang on. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, interlude. I don't... Dawn is... Dawn's early, isn't it? Level up fast from... Yeah, Dawn level up fast from levels 1 to 50, slow from 51 to 99. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, tr- I was going to say... Try a different set of questions. I, do, I the list I have is clearly, clearly wrong at this point. Yep. So, but then again, they may have changed the answers compared to the list. I hope not. No, I mean like 1.5 versus the original because the list was for the original. That's Don as well. Okay, the other big reason, the reason why I'm so insistent on dusk is not just the level up early thing. Um, we're focusing on late game with this because most of the fights I'm actually gonna have trouble with are going to be late game. But the other reason you want to level up at dusk, or that you want to set out at dusk, is because the total EXP you need to hit level 100 is actually less if you uh, start out at dusk. By a fairly considerable amount, if I recall correctly. Oh, well, that wasn't what I was trying to answer, but... You like to collect neat things. I like that's actually a statement. There. Neat things. No one uses the word neat, so that's kind of awesome. That's neat. In the dead of night, there we go. Your road won't be easy, but a rising sun awaits your journey's end. That's what we're looking for. That's what you're after. Sounds good. They'll you open the doors both far off and very near. Yep. Okay, it is time for the story to actually start moving. Kind of. (laughs) Sort of. A little bit. I love Kingdom Hearts, but it does have a fairly slow start. Yeah, it gets worse in the later games. Mm-hmm. Let's go walk into the light beam, as they expect us to. Press start button to open your menu screen. Give your inventory status and settings you can't do during battle. Speaking of battle, let's have one. So these are shadows. Yeah. They are the most standard of mooks. Not that dangerous compared to later things, but they've got this annoying thing where they can get descend into the ground and shuffle around underneath it where you can't hit Like them. that one just did. Yeah. And the That's... most annoying problem with the thing is that you'll be... You're not allowed to stop being in battle until everyone's dead. So, if you've got a shadow who's shuffling around, you're waiting until he comes back up to do things, which could be a bad thing. You can actually tell whether or not you're considered in battle or not, and I'm making air quotes with my fingers here, by looking at your uh, command menu on the bottom left. It goes goes from uh, blue to red when you're in combat, and then back to blue when you come out. Is that what I want? Kind of. The camera's a lot more swingy than it is in two. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. And into the beam of light, which we see in most games. Can we get our That's save right, point kiddos. Tutorial? Save points. No auto save, no constant save. These save points, especially this particular kind of save point, is going to be your best friend. Because mm-hmm. these save points give you health back and MP well, back. All of them do, but these ones do other things as well. Is King Hearts 2 they gave you the ones that didn't do health and MP? No, no, no. The bo- 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 all save points re- fully restore your health and MP, but the big circular, the, the big, oh, the right. big pad That's of the, light right. ones do extra stuff. That's the let's leave this place. 
Yeah. Okay, tap. another beam of light. It's so pretty. I love how they set this off, too. Oh, hey, look, it's a shadow. And it wants to say hi. It's not good for us, unfortunately. Nope. Dark side. Who else's name? Uh, yeah, that's the. Well, there's been several names for this one, but Dark Side's probably the one most people know it by. This I can't dude. What the official name is, though. This dude's shown up as the tutorial boss in almost every, uh, almost every Kingdom Hearts game, but one. So. Two, namely. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and beat the crap out of his hands. Do I want the other one? I want the other one. Let's just beat the crap out of this for a while. I forget, did they actually give me a potion? Yeah, they gave you a potion. Remember you opened the, the right. treasure chest, but I'm not sure if you remember to equip. Well, no, wait, you picked no, it up, so I... it auto-equips. Did it? Are you sure? If you have empty slots, I'm pretty sure it, slops, it yeah. slaps them in there. Hopefully it's not going to be something I need. So, while I'm locked on, um, I can attack other things, but it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to do so. Don't do that. So he's going to shoot things at me. I have a couple seconds to hit him a couple times. Unfortunately, we don't have scan, so I have no idea what his HP is going to be at. So I just got to kind of wail on him and hope that that doesn't happen. Where's this freaking... There you are. Die and give me, give me health. For your tutorial boss battle, you're basically given a big ol' set of... You're, you're basically forced to rely on uh, health prizes. Which, he gives you health prizes all the damn time, so it's not exactly a big deal. Uh, what you just saw, guys, just now was parrying, uh, which is something that I will not be doing very much, because I'm not good at it. <laughs> um, parrying says that if you attack at the same time an enemy does, you will negate their attack entirely, except under specific circumstances. Um, very, very useful. You're going to see me use it a lot more in the next episode when I do some cheesy level ups for a little bit. And, um, which I might off screen entirely. And, uh, other than that, um, just a good way to get rid of attacks. It just, you have to time it right, and I'm particularly bad at timing it right. However, if you do it right, especially to a big enough attack, you get a tech bonus. Tech bonuses give you free experience. And we're gonna want lots of that. Yep, and he's dead. Strength up. Right, if I remember nope. correctly, in my first Let's Play of this, it actually took me two tries. Now, for those of the, the, the strength up, the game calls those bonus levels. Uh, it's essentially it's kind of like a separate leveling system, separate from functionally. Oh, yeah, it's it like level up. Yeah. I was gonna say, it, it, technically speaking, bonus is like a, a, a level up system that's separate from the actual experience. You kill, you win certain fights, you get a bonus, and the Not bonuses just fights, you get some other things. So well, you you win certain things. You do certain things, you get bonuses. Usually it's for major fights, major actions, story things, that sort of thing. Yep. And here it comes. Here comes the fun. No? You are the one. Hey, Neo! Oh. He does pause for a second on that. Oh, no, the darkness got me. On the plus side, we're about to hear one of my favorite songs in the game. Ah, yes. I always liked that tune. It was quite nice. Yep. And it's the sky! And it's a face! I always loved how they rendered the eyes in this game. Mm. Oh, God! Like, they put some really big effort in making pretty eyes. And here's Kyrie, resident love interest. You know, I don't think anyone in this game ever has a love... This series, for that matter, ever has a love interest. They're just really good friends. I, I think there's a love interest. I think it changes in Kingdom Hearts 2, but I believe there's a love interest. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I love how I told you before. I don't remember. this gets retconned in two. Nothing at all? Mm hmm? Nothing. 
never want to go back. Well, it's mm, well, pretty heavily implied that there is nothing but this island but you in know, Kingdom Hearts 1. That uh, this is um Destiny well, Island. No, they they, they make no they make, they make mention in the in, right, right in the first one. Des De Destiny Island is like it's it's more than just the island we see, but not much more than that. Yeah, but they like for example, Kyrie has no idea where she came from. I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. And it's implied that where's your hometown? I don't remember. So it's implied she has no idea where she comes from. But in two, we see her in a town. It may not be her hometown, but it is a place that she lives. Yes. She goes back home at some point, it has to be assumed, but it never, they never show you, like, they never acknowledge that she goes home when night falls. They actually know they mention it a few times in the first one. I don't think so. Because they, they just asked, what's your hometown like? I don't know, I don't remember. Yeah, but it, it she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't remember her hometown. She wasn't Metal born signals. in Destiny Island. I don't know, to me, hometown always meant the place that you live. The, the place. The city. Destiny Island. City of Townsville. Um... And we're going to completely ignore Kyrie for the time being. Bye! <laughs> Mostly because we're done with this episode. We have reached the end. It was a long one. Uh, where's the door? There's the door. That's going to set a bad precedent for starting out. <laughs> what? That we had a 25 minute long tutorial? <laughs> for the first episode in which we all we did was tutorial, and we're not even nearly done. That's a particularly long tutorial. But we're going to stop here because we've got a lot we're going to do on the next episode. Mm. Are we level 2? We are level 2. Interesting. So, yeah, uh, that's Kingdom Hearts final mix for you guys. We're going to be working on this. I got no party members, but I have a menu. Yeah, we are level two. Interesting. So I did level up, and I got the extra level, or nice. and I got the um. Yeah, the b bonus bonus doesn't count as a level; it's separate. But you got a level as well. I did not know you started with that. XP. Oh, that's because you're on proud. Come again? That's because you're on proud. Proud says no experience. Proud says you can have no experience. It's for people who want to do want to do the quote unquote level one critical. Bull crap. Uh, there are people who try to beat the game at level one. Forever. I'm on proud. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, you're. Oh, that's an activated. Ah. Yes. Okay. It's because you I thought can that choose... was a passive. I'm like. No, no, no. You can choose to have it on or off. Okay. How do you? You have, you have said that before you fight Dark Side, though. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay then. Wait, wait, wait. Turn. Go, go back to abilities. The XP zero. Oh, learned. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, learned. <laughs> I was what did a heart you think it said? I was because for a moment there I thought it said equipped, and I was thinking, oh god, it hasn't turned them, turned it on automatically for some reason. <laughs> no, no, no. It didn't. We're level two. How did it? How would it turn it on automatically? This is. Yeah, I, I, I'm not expecting this game to pull punches. I've heard stories about proud mode. Yeah, if it's mode. equipped, it has the uh, circle. Right. Oh. Yep. Okay, folks, well, we'll see you guys soon, where we will go and explore Destiny Islands, and I will show you how we're going to cheese for experience. See you soon. <laughs>